my partner and I rented this apartment and the landlord agreed to let me redesign the whole unit and I renovated and built everything from scratch. It was a bit tricky to build furniture for this space because the walls are not perpendicular to each other and none of the corners are square. We wanted to live in a fully equipped and functional place that could fit our musical instruments and many other important objects while maintaining a nearly central space. My name is Cristiana Felgueiras and I'm an artist, maker and content creator behind the YouTube channel Get Hands Story. We've combined all of our publications today into one beautiful, inspiration-packed bundle. Our two books plus our digital guide. Available now for a special discounted price. Thanks a bundle. The apartment is in downtown Porto, Portugal. This is the old part of the city with many historical buildings, uh, very characteristic tile work that can be seen in the facades. We are a few minutes walking from the river and we are also close to the theater, sold cinema and cafes. It's a lively and lovely neighborhood. This used to be a commercial building built in the late 70s with offices and small businesses. Most have been converted in the last few years to small apartments. This space was originally a small office with a wooden wall dividing two rooms. It didn't have anything, just a toilet. The toilet walls were removed and the whole space was cleaned and freshly painted before we came in. We chose materials that could fit within a low budget that still looked good. The division of the new space was made with a wardrobe working simultaneously as a privacy wall when the entry door is open. The planning of the space was made so that the glass door would be closer to the kitchen and the window closer to the living sleeping area. The furniture was built around the walls, leaving the center of the space mostly empty. The entrance is divided from the rest of the space by the back of the wardrobe. There is an entry closet in the corner where we store mostly sports and household items, shoes and coats. With a custom-built entry closet and wardrobe, I was able to eliminate the angles of the space but keep every centimeter of storage space inside them. On the other side, we have a small green shoe cabinet to keep the most used pairs for each season. There aren't any protruding knobs in this apartment, so everything is either click to open or have flush or cut out handles. The living space can turn into the bedroom at night. It is composed by this large sofa, a multifunctional coffee table, the media console, and this large built-in behind the sofa that contains the Murphy bed. It was important to break the massive birch surface and the piano desk was the way to create separation in both color, height and design. I introduced the black material to create contrast with the brighter woods and whites. Their storage from floor to ceiling, including compartments that were planned to open sideways or have doors smaller than the interior volume. I also conformed the pieces to the non-square corner to avoid strange gaps or unused space. The back cushions of the sofa come out when it is time to flip out the bed. It rests over the sofa seats and the coffee table. The pillows and bed linen are stored in the sofa drawers 
The Media Council establishes a separation between the living, sleeping space and kitchen area. It has storage on both sides and was custom built to fit particular things such as these two small guitar and bass amplifiers and the record player. To give it a little more interest, a small bookshelf was added to the visible side and a parking lot for the robot cleaner that stores it out of the way. The kitchen is quite large for a tiny apartment and is fully equipped. It's where I get most creative besides my studio, so it was important to integrate storage for all the tools and have enough space to cook. All appliances besides the oven and cooktop are hidden and it includes a fridge and freezer, a microwave, a small dishwasher and a washing machine. This large and deep cabinet has a pull-up pantry to keep all groceries organized and visible. To break the lighter tones, I install a dark cement and wood fiberboard as a countertop and backsplash. The dimensions of the central yellow cabinets are not standardized because I built them many years ago for another space and that created limitations on the final design of this kitchen, such as the upper cabinets. The dining table is extendable. The extension pieces are stored in the media console drawer, built specifically for them. It can fit 8 to 10 people when extended, and it can be used as extra preparation space when cooking too. Near the glass door are the trash cans and two floating shelves. They are mainly populated with plants to make the space feel more vibrant. The original window framing was upgraded and the swing of the door was changed to open outwards to prevent blocking the inside area. The balcony is where I spend my work breaks from spring to the end of summer. We chose to cover this wall with bamboo to hide the messy structure behind it and the vertical garden allowed us to have many plants and bits of life where an otherwise blank and boring wall would be. This is where we can enjoy sunsets with a view over the old city. The bathroom is by the entrance. We decided to keep the interior window as it brings some natural light into the bathroom. The ceiling light with the fluffy clouds that I 3D printed can be seen from the main space when lit, which creates a warm and relaxing atmosphere. The walls were kept with the original tiles, but were painted light blue to make the space feel fresher. There's a vanity and sink with a large mirror cabinet above. The water tank is inside this upper cabinet with a sliding base for easy maintenance. We have the laundry baskets hanging up above the door. It's so much fun every day throwing clothes up in there and they're easy to bring down using a step stool. Building this entire apartment was a great way to explore woodworking techniques and materials. This was the first time I planned an entire space and building every centimeter of it made me truly value the amount of work, vision and thinking that is put into creating fully functional homes with so little space available. Thanks for watching. If you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at never too small dot com slash submissions.